right students the next chapter which we are going to revise is the chapter of place of supply we went ahead and understood gst with good sir service goods or service has to be supplied supply can be either interstate supply or intrastate now when we decide interstate or intrastate we go ahead and read interstate ke liye section number 7 and intrastate ke liye section number 8 then we read section number 9 total water may place of supply place of supply near is coastal state sir supply in the total water supply in the nearest coastal state now always remember interstate intrastate etc you always need to know the place of supply and to know the place of supply you need section number 10 11 12 and 13 when we go ahead and talk about place of supply remember section number 10 11 12 13 of the igst act we are going to talk about whole sections over here which are of igst and now we are going to discuss in place of supply section number 10 11 12 and 13 place of supply with respect to goods is dealt by section number 10 and section number 11 place of supply with respect to service is dealt by section number 12 and section number 13 let's go ahead and start talking about the place of supply everyone place of supply remember you always see to determine intra or inter you see location of supplier and location of recipient no 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 you always see location of supplier and the place of supply the place of supply to be determined by supply applying section number 10 11 12 13 are we clear everyone now place of supply to go ahead and determine first of all we will go ahead and determine by applying section number 11 if it's a case of goods imported or goods exported import ka case mein always remember location of the importer location of the importer wherever the importer is that that is the place of supply if i have gone ahead and imported the goods if it's a goods which are exported by me then location outside india becomes the place of supply other than import and export ka case always in respect of goods when you are finding out the place of supply apply section number 10 section number 10 has 101 and 102 section number 101 goes ahead and says whenever 10 1 may we have a b c d and e section number 10 1 a goes ahead and says whenever supply involves movement always remember movement can be caused by supplier recipient or any person if movement is there where the movement terminates for delivery to the recipient that becomes the place of supply sir if it's a bill to ship to model principal place of business principal place of business of the third party becomes the place of supply so i went ahead and told someone to build the goods to me ship it directly to the other person when he build the goods to me here he will go ahead and apply section number 10 1 b wherein he will go ahead and take my place of my principal place of business as the place of supply now from me to the other person when goods have gone baba for that we will apply 101 a can i go ahead everyone sir supply does not involve movement then location of the goods at the time of delivery where the goods where at the time of giving the delivery means at the time of giving the risk and reward when you transfer the risk and reward where the goods were that is the become the place of supply if goods are assembled or installed at site place of supply is where the place of installation or assembly is there if goods are supplied on board a plane train bus etc always remember one thing place where they are taken on board becomes the place of supply and then section number 10 102 goes ahead and says where place of supply cannot be determined by in the then baba it will be determined in the manner prescribed as of now nothing has been prescribed so i went ahead and told you about section number 10 place of supply in respect of goods i told you section number 10 and i told you section number 11 section number 11 went ahead and told goods imported and baba goods exported imported ka case mein importer export ka case mein place outside india section number 10 mein section number 101 a b c d and e i went ahead and told you a went ahead and told when supply involves movement where the movement terminate sir bill to ship to ka model mein principal place of business of the third party c may where the movement is not there at the time goods at the time of delivery and sir installation or assembly ka case mein where the goods are installed or assembled at site that place becomes the place of supply and supplied on board is where they are taken on board 10 to is nothing can we go ahead everyone the next one over here is section number 12 section number 12 goes ahead and talks about services ka case mein how to determine the place of supply in case of section number 12 we have section number 12 1 12 2 12 3 2 12 14 12, section number 12 1 goes ahead and says location of supplier and location of recipient both are in india then baba place of supply to be determined as per section number 12 section number 12 2 goes ahead and talks about residuary case residuary case means 12 3 to 12 14 may if you are not following then please come to section number 12 
Two, section number 12, two goes ahead and says, residual rule, always remember, if you are going ahead and providing the services to a registered person, location of the registered person, if location of register, if it is provided to an unregistered person, remember, it is always address on record. If unregistered person, ka, you don't have the address on record also, please remember, location of the supplier, I am over here, place of supply also, over here, location of the supplier. Now, we go ahead and talk about section number 12, three, which goes ahead and talks about immobile property related service always remember whenever a service is provided in relation to immobile property directly in relation to immobile property or lodging accommodation service or function at immobile property or might be any ancillary services in relation to a b and c always remember the place of supply will be the location of the immobile property or the intended location of the immobile property boat or the vessel Location or intended location of the property, boat or the vessel. If immobile property is outside India, supply and recipient both are in India, then remember one thing, location of the recipient becomes the place of supply. Sir, if immobile property is located in multiple states or unit territory, then remember the place of supply will be in multiple states or unit territory. Here, the value, how will you go ahead and apportion? If the value is collected separately, then separate, separate value, liye, separate, separate place of supply. If value is not collected separately, then Baba, please remember in terms of the contract. If Baba contract says nothing, then please apply rule number four. Rule number four says value to be apportioned in the ratio of the number of nights, area, or on the basis of declaration which was provided by the service provider. The next one over here is section number 12.4, which goes ahead and talks about performance based service remember one thing only six performance based services are covered in section number 12 4 any other performance based service where will it come general rule may remember residual rule may so sir what are the performance based services which we are going to talk about rcb failed pathetically only for classroom purpose baba rcb failed pathetically i love rcb okay everyone r means restaurant services c means cost restaurant and catering services c means cosmetic and plastic surgery b means beauty treatment f means fitness services p for personal grooming health h for health service again everyone r for restaurant and catering c for cosmetic and plastic surgery b for beauty treatment uh, b for beauty treatment f for fitness service p for personal grooming and health for, health for health services remember always remember one thing rcb failed pathetically or always wherever it is POP, place of performance. Poop can be go ahead, everyone. The next one over here is section number 12.5, which goes ahead and talks about training and performance appraisal services. Training and performance appraisal services, if you could give training services, for an example, to a registered person, always location of registered person, unregistered person, wherever it is, poop. Baba, place of performance. That is why I have given a link over here. It is place of performance. Then the next one is admission. Section number 12.6 goes ahead and talks about admission to an event or par and services which are ancillary to the services always remember place of the event or the park becomes the place of supply section number 12 7 goes ahead and says ramesh if you are providing organizing of event ka service i am organizing an event for you then organizing of event uh, any ancillary services remember ancillary services ke liye, principal service ka only place of supply applies so they are telling everywhere you will see most of the places may and ancillary services so organizing of event ka services and ancillary service if you are giving organizing ka services organizing admission related services means selling of entry tickets organizing of event and ancillary services provided to a registered person i went in and organized an event for a person who is a registered person then location of registered person becomes the place of supply if you are an unregistered person then the place of the event becomes the place of supply event is held outside india then remember supplies in india recipient is in india event is outside india location of recipient becomes the place of supply if event is held in multiple states or unit entry then remember place of supply if it is if it is held in multiple states and it is given to a registered person, registered person ka case mein location of registered person. We are talking about unregistered person. Sir, registered person ko if service is given in India, multiple state, outside India, doesn't matter. It is always the location of the registered person. Unregistered person, place of the event. Unregistered person ka event organizing ka services you give to an unregistered person and event is outside India. Then Baba, location of recipient. If Event is held in multiple states, then place of supply in each state and value to be apportioned in the value collected separately. If you have not collected separately, then value apportionment as per the contract. If apportionment can't be done as per the contract, then please go ahead and do as per rule number 5. Then rule number 5 basically applies to unregistered person only because registered person ka case mate is always location of registered person. Unregistered person ko when you are giving services in multiple states and the value has to be apportioned, then please apportion by applying generally accepted accounting principles.
क्लियर द नेक्स्ट वन ओवर इज सेक्शन नंबर ट्वेल्व ए ट्रांसपोर्टेशन ऑफ गुड्स का सर्विसेज इंक्लूडिंग मेल और कोरियर इफ यू आर गोइंग एंड गिविंग ट्रांसपोर्टेशन का सर्विसेज इंक्लूडिंग मेल और कोरियर ऑलवेज रजिस्टर्ड पर्सन इट इज द लोकेशन ऑफ द रजिस्टर्ड पर्सन अनरजिस्टर्ड पर्सन वेर एवर इट इज हैंडेड ओवर द पिकअप लोकेशन सो इफ आई गो एड एंड गिव ट्रांसपोर्टेशन का सर्विस आई एम ए गुड ट्रांसपोर्ट एजेंसी गिविंग ट्रांसपोर्टेशन सर्विसेज टू ए रजिस्टर्ड पर्सन लोकेशन ऑफ रजिस्टर्ड पर्सन गिविंग टू एन अनरजिस्टर्ड पर्सन वेर एवर इट इज पिक अप Now remember one thing over here. There is a proviso which is there. For an example, I am an Indian shipping company over here, and there is one person who is the exporter. He went ahead and told one person that I will go ahead and send the goods to you in the US. Don't worry about it. Transportation I will take care. So this is the exporter over here. This is the Indian shipping company over here. Location of suppliers in India. Location of recipient is outside India, but goods are going outside India. In this scenario, remember one thing: the proviso is there. and this proviso talks little different otherwise supplier and recipient in india but if service is outside india then always we catch the neck of recipient but here the proviso says transportation is outside india the place of supply will be the destination and here the place of supply is what everyone if this person is us us you are sending the goods place of supply will be us so supplier is supposedly in india he is in maharashtra I am the recipient. I told him that I told the Indian shipping company that I want to transport the goods, and I am also in India. So my location is supposedly Maharashtra. Always remember one thing: location of supply is Maharashtra, place of supply is US. This guy, when he gives me the bill, it will be an interstate supply. Supplier is in Maharashtra, place of supply is US. Although we might be in the same state, but he will go ahead and talk about what. He'll say it's an interstate supply because location of supplier and place of supplier in different state. No. Location of supply is in India. Place of supply is outside India. As per section number seven five, when you read section number seven five, you will see section number seven five a point which is there where they have gone ahead and told location of supply is in India. Place of supply is outside India. It is always interstate. And what will come, everyone? I G S T will come. So here they have gone ahead and given a small clarification, saying, sir, it will be always interstate supply. I G S T will come. Can he go ahead and take the credit? Yes, he can take the credit, input tax credit. of this bill which is received by him provided he fulfills the condition under section number 16 and 17 baba it means the credit should not be a block credit which is there section number 17 ka condition is satisfied section number 16 ka condition that he should have gone ahead and have the invoices etc all those conditions are satisfied he can take the credit also number 1 it should be an interstate supply igst will be charged secondly he will get itc also and thirdly this guy supplier will report this uh, in gstr 1 And and here we state he will select he will six select ninety six which is foreign country and this will come in your GST R two A two B and you can go ahead and take the credit on the basis of the credit which is coming in two B. Can I go ahead, everyone? Everyone over here, see circular came circular with respect to entitlement of ITC where place of supply is determined in this in as per the proviso to section bar. Well, a they went ahead and told the same thing. Location of supplies in India, place of supplies outside India. It is interstate. IDST will be charged. Recipient will be able to take the credit also. Which recipient, everyone? You are the recipient of the transportation service because you transported the goods outside India. You can take the credit also. Supplier while reporting in GSTR one, supplier will select state code as ninety six, which is the foreign country, and it will come to you, and you will be able to take the credit. Can I go ahead, everyone? Remember, it's very important from exam point of view because it's a part of amendment now. Everyone over here, passenger transportation service. Whenever I'm going ahead and giving, till now what did I tell you? I told general rule which is there. I told location of supplier and location of recipient both are in India. Section number twelve will apply. Section number twelve two, residual rule. Section number twelve three, immovable property. Section number twelve four, performance base. Section number twelve five, training and performance appraisal. Section number twelve. Six admission to an event. Seven, I told you about organizing of an event. Eight, I told you about goods transportation. Goods transportation can happen by road, rail, anything. Everyone, remember road, air, vessel, rail, everything. Can I go ahead, everyone? Any mode can be used. Now, passenger transportation also can by happen by any mode, road, rail, water, air, etc. They are telling whenever passenger transportation service is provided, registered person code and location of the registered person, unregistered person is this place of. embarkation for a continuous journey continuous journey means where there is no stop over means you don't get down from the flight and get into another flight etc all those situations are not there then it's a continuous journey and always remember if i am giving to a registered person i am giving transportation services to a registered person location of registered person if i am giving to an unregistered person where he jumps in 
embarkation ka place becomes the place of supply. Remember one thing, right to passage ka case mein always general rule will apply. Metro card is a right to passage, right to passage mein always general rule will apply. Explanation, return journey is always treated as separate journey. I went from here to here, here to here when I am coming back. These are two separate journeys and two separate place of supply. So then section number 12, 10 comes services on board. Wherever goods are supplied on board, it is where they are taken on board. Services supplied on board is first scheduled departure point. Baba, what is the first scheduled departure point? Next. Section number 12, 11 comes telecommunication service. If telecommunication services are provided through fixed line, fixed line, circuit, disk, location of the fixed line, circuit, disk, etc. If it is provided through postpaid mobile, billing address, prepaid mobile or internet. Remember one thing, prepaid mobile or internet, then if it is provided through selling agent, reseller, distributor, then agent of the reseller, distributor, etc. If it is sold by the company or the reseller agent to the final consumer, then it is always where the prepayment or voucher prepayment is received or voucher is sold. If prepaid services are provided through internet, then Baba always address on record. Remember one thing, any other case telecommunication services are provided, you don't have address on record also, location of supplier becomes the place of supply. If you have address on record, take address on record, any other case, then location of supply. Remember one thing, if lease circuit is installed in more than one state or union territory, in proportion to the value which is collected separately, you have to go ahead and divide the value. Array, if value is collected separately, separate, separate value, ke separate, separate place of supply. If value is not given separately, then as per contract. If sir, as per contract also you are not able to determine, then apply rule number 6. Rule number 6 says, if lease line circuit, if circuit ke through connection, if circuit ke through telecommunication service is provided, so you have to go ahead and divide the value in the ratio of number of circuits in a state. Are we clear everyone? In the proportion to the number of points lying in the state or UT. So, one circuit is installed, circuit ka points are lying in Karnataka, two points, one in Tamil Nadu. Then 2 is to 1 ka ratio mein value will be apportioned. The next one is financial and stock broking service, address on record. If address on record is not there, it is always location of supplier. Insurance service, always take location of recipient. If it is provided to registered person, if it is provided to unregistered person, address on record. The next one is advertisement provi services provided to central government, state government, local authority, statutory body, which is meant for what? State or states or union territory or union territories then remember one thing place of supply will be in every state or ut where and value apportionment to the amount attributable to the service provided in the respective state in terms of contract or as per rule number three you have to go ahead and divide the value advertisement services when they are provided to central government state government local authority or union territory or not unit basically central government state government government when it is provided union territory is also government only or statutory body remember one thing in that scenario it is section number 12 14 which is there but otherwise then advert, uh, normal advertisement services general rule will come so when you provide advertisement services to the government then value baba advertisement service provided to the government in five state then value place of supply in five state Value apportionment to be done as per the contract or rule number 3. Rule number 3 goes ahead and says, if you have gone ahead and done advertisement, then what will be the basis of apportionment? Or basically, how will you go ahead and divide? What will be the value of supply? Or how will you go ahead and divide the value of supply? If advertisement is done in newspaper and publication, remember amount payable for each pub publication or each for amount payable for publishing the advertisement will be the value of supply. Then, if I am going in and providing services in printed material, pamphlet, t-shirt, etc., whatever is the amount payable for the distribution will be the value of su supply of my advertisement service with respect to each state, whatever is the amount has been paid to me. Holdings other than trade, amount payable, train ka case mein ratio of the railway track multiplied by the amount payable. Whatever is the amount payable by you for advertisement on a railway, basically in a train. Then in that scenario, I'll have to go ahead and do the apportionment of the value. Train passed through five stations, five uh, states. Then five states ka ratio of the track has to be taken and I have to go ahead and divide the value. The next one over here is utility bill may if I am doing, then the amount which is payable. Railway ticket may if I am doing the advertisement, then ratio of number of railway station into the amount payable by you, by the government basically. Over the radio station, amount payable to such radio station. Television channel, channel, channel viewership figure and this channel viewership figure is given by Broadcast Audience Research Council for the last week of the last quarter of figure has to be taken. If figure relating to two or more state, then apply proportionate, but apply ratio of the population of the states or unit territory. Cinema hall may, then the amount payable will be the value apportionment ratio. Then over the internet, 
basically uh, amount payable means whatever amount i have gone and received that is the value of my supply the next one is over the internet then services are deemed to be provided across india and the basis of apportionment will be the internet subscriber which are basically given by the telecom regulatory authority of india last quarter ka figure you can go ahead and take sir if advertisement services are provided over the sms then telecom subscribers can be the telecom subscribers can be the uh, the ratio of the telecom subscribers can be taken and the value can be apportioned which are published by TRI for the last quarter last quarter figure can be that uh, telecom subscriber ka figure which you are taking that can be taken last quarter ka figures are we clear everyone is section number power section number 10 we learned section number 10, 11 we learned goods imported or exported section number 10 we learned other than import and export of goods ka case mein section number 10 will apply section number 12 we learned where location of supplier and location of recipient are both in india then section number 12 is applicable 12 2 is general rule 12 3 to section number 12 14 is the specific rule with specific services are we clear till here now the next section is section number 13 everyone over here section number 13 is applicable when everyone when the location of supplier or location of recipient is outside india remember one thing whenever you are going ahead and applying section number 13 you have to see either supplier or recipient is outside india and then section number 13 will be applicable remember one more thing if supply is outside india if recipient is in india supply is outside india recipient is in india and place of supply is in india by applying section number 13 place of supply came in india supplier outside india recipient is in india place of supply is in india then it becomes importation of service and you will be liable to pay gst under rcm sir supplies in india recipient is outside india place of supply came outside india and you receive foreign convertible currency then it will become export of service so when you are going in and applying section number 13 there will be cases when it can be importation of service and there it, it can be cases where it will become export of services also please be very careful now section number 13 one went ahead and told whenever location of supplier or location of recipient anyone is outside india then section number 13 is applicable section number 13 two went ahead and told about the residual rule generally location of place of supply is location of recipient of service but if location of recipient of service is not there then it is always location of supplier of service section number 13 three went ahead and told about performance based service always remember one thing performance based service all the performance based services under section number 133 it will come section number 133 will include all the performance based service whether it will it is with respect to what goods or it is supplied in respect to individual where it requires the physical presence of the individual remember one thing whenever performance based services are done baba whether it is, it is with respect to goods or it is with respect to individual then always remember performance based services may place where it is made physically available baba if goods are made physically available then place of actual performance becomes the place of supply so supposingly one machine is there it has been sent for testing in india i've done the testing in india the place of actual performance is india because the goods were made physically available in india so however supposingly if i've gone ahead and done performance on goods electronically by means of remotely by means of by electronic means then the location of goods at the time of supply of service becomes the place of supply so for an example one machine is there in us i have done the testing etc from india by using remote means then baba it is what everyone play location of the goods at the time when the performance was done that is outside india it will become the place of supply basically the goods were outside india so it will become place of supply will be outside india the next one is if goods are made temporarily available in india if goods are temporarily imported in India for repair, treatment or process and re-exported. Remember one thing, repair, treatment or process. If goods have come into India, you have gone ahead and done the repair, treatment or process. And after doing the repair, treatment or process, you have re-exported it without putting it into use into India. Might be that use was required, then okay. For such repair, treatment or process, if any use was done in India that was required for that process, then it's okay. But otherwise, if any repair, treatment or process scale if goods have come into India, you have done the performance on the goods in India, but still, because it had come for repair, treatment or process, RTP, place of supply will be always location of recipient of service, which will be outside India. If it has come temporarily into India without 
uh, any user into India, you have gone ahead and done the repair treatment of process and re-exported, then it will location of recipient of service. In this scenario, remember one circular is there which goes ahead and talks about unpolished diamond. Unpolished diamond have come from outside India. In India, cutting, polishing, etc. is done, process is done and then it is re-exported. Remember one thing, when it is re-exported, location of recipient of service becomes the place of supply. Supply is in India, recipient is outside India. Place of supply is location of recipient of service which is outside India. If you receive foreign convertible currency and you both are not near establishment of this person, it will become export of service. I'll tell you one thing, for an example, from outside India, some diamonds have come into India. You have done the cutting, polishing, etc. It should not be put into use into India, but you went ahead and used it into India. Then always remember one thing. Because you used it into in India, here this proviso will not be applicable and now because the goods were made physically available in India, this section will be applicable and place of actual performance, place of supply will become India. Supplies in India, place of supplies in India, it will be interstate transaction, never intra. As per section number 75C, as per section number 75C, it will be always what everyone interstate and IGST will come. Remember this point ever. Can I go ahead everyone? Baba, by applying section number 13, if you have find out the place of supply, it can never be intra. Are we clear everyone? And what is not intra and not covered anywhere else always becomes interstate and section number 75C you will apply and it will become interstate and IGST will come on that transaction. So for Baba Joinders will come one question is there when supposing even tools have come into India for some process, you did the processing of the tools, you re-exported without put to use in into India, then it will be place of supply will be location of recipient of service. But if you put to use in India and then you re-export, then Baba because you have put to use into India, place of supply becomes place of actual performance which will be India. Supply is in India, place of supply is in India, it is interstate and IGST will come. Can I go ahead everyone? If performance based services are provided on individual, done on individual, then always remember place of actual performance becomes the place of supply. The next one is section number 13.4 which goes ahead and talks about services in relation to immoral property. Directly in relation to immoral property might be services by expert or estate agent, accommodation in hotel, in guest house, etc. Grant of right to use immobile property or architect, interior decorator ka services, etc. Always remember place of supply will be location or intended location of the property. Sir, if it is admission to, section number 13, 5 goes ahead and talks about admission to or, or organizing of event including ancillary services, it will always be what place of the event becomes the place of supply. Sir, if the supposingly performance based services, immobile property related services or Organizing of event or admission to an event related services, if you have gone ahead and provided at multiple location, including one location in the taxable territory India, the place of supply for the entire contract becomes taxable territory, which is India over here. I hope you guys are clear. Remember one thing, if you have gone ahead and done performance based service, immobile property related service or organizing of event or admission to an event related service and all the services are provided under a single contract wherein one place of supply comes in India, the entire contract will the place of supply will come in India. The next one is section number 13, 7, services in 3, means performance based service or immoral property related service or Baba, organizing of event related, admission or organizing of event related service supplied in multiple state. Baba, over here, if it is provided in multiple state, then the place of supply will be in each state or UT and value of supply shall be in the proportion to the value collected separately or in terms of contract or as per rule. Rule number 7 is applicable in case of performance based service. Supposingly, one machine has come into India, one machine has come into India and the performance testing is done in two states, then always remember the value will be apportioned. Place of supply in two states and the value will be apportioned in between both the states equally. If services are supplied in respect of same goods, divide between the states where the services were performed, the value will be divided. Sir, if the value, if supposingly two machines have come into India and we have done the testing in two different states, in this scenario, the value which you have collected is a single amount, then value will be apportioned on the basis of the invoice value. Services supplied on different goods, then the issue of invoice value of the goods, accordingly the place of supply will be decided. Place of supply is in both the state. Value will be apportioned between both the state on the ratio of the invoice value. The next is services applied in respect of individual. If individual pay, supposingly from outside India, some celebrity has come and you have done the denting painting services. Denting painting means uh, beautician services provided on one person in 
Suppose you need to state, then they are going in and telling, please apply GAAP. GAAP means generally accepted accounting principle. Might be you went ahead and did the denting pending the services in one state for two days, one state for one day, two is to one car ratio, the value will be apportioned. Then they are going in and telling, if it is involved property related service, please apply rule number eight. And rule number eight says, please apply rule number four, mutatis mutandis, and which we had gone in and learned, the value will be divided as per rule number four on the basis of nights, area, or as per the declaration provided by the service provider, same rule is applicable over here also. Sir, if it is admission to or organizing of event, organizing of event ka case mein, it is told over there, please apply rule number 5. Baba, here they are telling, please apply rule number 9. And rule number 9 is same to same as rule number 5. And rule number 5 goes ahead and says, please apply generally accepted accounting principle. The next one over here is section number 13.8, which talks, talks about services by banking company financial institution and npfc when it is given to whom account holder account holder secondly any intermediary services or baba hiring of means of transportation including yachts excluding aircraft excluding 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 aircraft and vessel when baba hiring of means of transportation is done by a person including yacht for up to one month place of supply is always the location of supplier of service remember this point very carefully services by banking company financial institution nbfc to account holder intermediary service and the last one hiring of means of transportation including yacht but excluding aircraft or vessel whenever the uh, means of transportation is being hired out up to one month location of supply of service becomes the place of supply sir tell me one thing services of banking company etc given to account holder then baba general rule will apply are we clear sir also what do you mean by intermediary services everyone there is a circular which government has gone ahead and given and circular may it is told intermediary means a, a person who is basically going ahead and facilitating a transaction there is a main transaction happening between two person there is a seller there is a buyer this buyer, buyer is there this is a seller who is there i am an intermediary who is located supposingly in india and i went ahead and find out the buyer now the seller went ahead and sold the goods over here and the buyer will go ahead and make the payment. So, this is the main supply. As an ancillary, what is my supply? I have gone ahead and given. As an ancillary supply, I have given, I have given intermediate services. I have helped him in the facilitation of the transaction. Basically, finding out the buyer, selling the transaction, selling the goods, etc. So, me, I am acting as an intermediary. And this is my ancillary service which is provided to the person outside India over here. Suppliers in India, recipient is outside India. Section number 13 is applicable. If he pays you foreign convertible currency and the place of supply is outside India, your service becomes export of service. Are you clear with intermediary? Intermediary means a person who is facilitating the principal supply. There is a main supply and there is an ancillary supply which is the intermediary services which he has gone ahead and help the person in facilitating the main transaction. Can we go ahead everyone? The next one over here is section number 39 which goes ahead and talks about transportation of goods if transportation of goods is happening excluding mail and courier because mail and courier ka case may general will, will rule will apply otherwise transportation of goods ka case may always destination of the goods becomes the place of supply the next one is passenger transportation service place of embarkation means where you jump inside the flight that becomes the place of supply in for a continuous journey this continuous journey means where there is no stopover where there is no stopover. Stopover means basically where you discontinue your, might be supposedly you went from here to here, you got down from the flight and then you got inside another flight. Then Baba, it is a stopover. There should be no stopover because if there are stopover, then it is two separate, separate supplies which are there. Can I go ahead everyone? The next one is services on board. Always remember one thing. It is the first scheduled departure point. This becomes the place of supply. OIDR services, Baba. OIDR services, online information, database access and retrieval service for services. Always remember place of supply is location of recipient. Section number 13, 13 goes ahead and talks about to prevent double taxation and non-taxation. Government is empowered. That government can go ahead and say the place of supply at that place where the effective use and enjoyment of the service is done. And using section number 13, 13, government has gone ahead and notified two services. This is not circular, Baba. These are actually notification and this is also a notification and government has notified two services and government by using which power section number 1313 has gone ahead and says if there are services of R&D in relation to pharmaceutical sector always remember pharmaceutical sectors ka case may whenever R&D services are provided always the place of supply is what everyone location of 
recipient of service. For an example, US says some medicines came into India. In India, we did the testing of the medicine and we provided the test ka report to the person outside India. Remember, the test ka actual use means the testing services are done in India, but the benefit of that testing services effective utilization is happening outside India. The report is going outside India where the effective utilization will be done and hence the place of supply is outside India. So, remember the location of the recipient becomes the place of supply. The next is notification again supply of maintenance repair overall services in respect of aircraft, ship, other vessel, their engines, component, part supplied to a person for use in the course of furtherance of business. Remember one thing maintenance repair overall services provided in respect of aircraft vessels or their part always the place of supply is what everyone location of recipient of service so for an example emirates X airlines ka flights have come into india we have done the mro services and they have gone back the place of supply is the location of recipient of service supplies in india recipient is outside india place of supply outside india if we receive foreign convertible currency it will become what everyone export of service but we should be not mere establishment of existing person. Everyone over here. Transportation of goods ka case may always remember. Baba circular goes ahead and says supplying of satellite launch services by Antrix Corporation or NSIL New Space India Limited to international customer. Always remember supplies in India, recipient is outside India. Place of supply is always the destination of the goods. The rocket is taking the satellite outside India to the space. So place of supply is also the outside India. If we receive foreign convertible currency, Antrix Corporation has given some services to NASA. It will become export of service provided it meets the requirement of export of service ka definition. Are we clear? Although that service is exempted in India, but still it will qualify for export of service. Place of supply is outside India. If uh, supply meets the requirement of 2.6, 2.6 means the definition of export of service. It will constitute export of service and it will be what everyone zero rated supply. Domestic customer, ko, if you are giving satellite launch services, those were taxable, but now it is exempted under entry number 19C. Can we go ahead, everyone? So, if supposedly I am giving satellite launch service, Antrix Corporation, New Space India Limited, we are giving satellite launch services to any person who is in India only. Baba, in that scenario, remember, supply is in India, recipient is India. Place of supply by applying section number 12 will also come location of the registered person or where the goods are being handed over. But GST is being exempted in this case of transit, in this type of transaction. Can I go ahead everyone? Diamond wala circular I have gone ahead and explained you. Diamonds have come from outside India, did the polishing etc. and send it outside India. So Baba, it is uh, treatment of process and hence always what will apply everyone? General rule, location of recipient of service becomes a place of supply. Now sir, the next circular over here is supply of software designing services by a supplier in the taxable territory to a recipient in non-taxable territory by using sample hardware kit by the recipient. Everyone listen to me very carefully. Apple has told me that Ramesh, you have to develop one software and give it to us. To develop the software, they told me to develop the software and give it to them. My work is primarily what? Developing the software and giving it to them. But to develop the software, I have to keep testing the software on a mobile phone. Supposing the sample hardware kit is given by whom? Apple to me. Now I am making the software and testing also. So I am giving software development service for which general rule is applicable. Testing services for which performance based services place of actual performance becomes the place of supply. But then officer went ahead and told over here that I will go ahead and say the place of actual performance is in India and place of supply will become in India. But then the clarification told that sir sample hardware pay testing is just an ancillary supply the principal supply is software development and designing principal supply pay general rule is applicable which is the location of recipient of service and hence testing services skill also the place of supply will become location of recipient of service because the principal supply pay what place of supply is applicable that is applicable to the ancillary service which is the testing the services are we clear everyone yes sir so it says over here software development and designing for integrated circuits electronically along with testing on sample prototype hardware is a composite supply where software development and designing is principal provision of provision provision of 133a is not applicable and hence place of supply will be location of service recipient as per section number 13 2. Now, in this scenario, if you go ahead and see supplies in India, if recipient is outside India, if place of supply is also outside India and you are receiving foreign convertible currency, you both are not mere establishment of distinct person, then it will become export of service. Wherever I say export of service, it can be the other way around also. 
if it supplies outside india recipient is in india place of supply is in india it will become import of service and you being a business entity you have to pay gst under rcm the next one over here one more circular which is there services provided by port with respect to cargo handling service always remember cargo handling services by general rule is applicable it is never services in relation to immovable property it is always general rule will be applicable if supplier the port which is providing the cargo handling services supplier and recipient both are in india then section number 13 2 general rule will 12 2 general rule will be applicable but if recipient is outside india and supplier who is providing the cargo handling services are, is in india then section number 13 2 is applicable are we all 100 percent clear till here everyone we are done with section number 12 and we are done, <coughs> done with section number 13 the most important part because this time there is an amendment remember one thing Baba, this is the amendment part and one circular has come which says what everyone? Transportation of goods ka services provided, supply and recipient both are in India, transportation is outside India, place of supply is outside India, supplier will go ahead and charge you IGST, you being the recipient, you can take the IGST ka credit. Are we clear everyone? Baba, other than this chapter, this chapter is also an A graded chapter. Anywhere say any small point can come, you have to be very careful. Which points I feel are important is Baba, this amendment wala point is very, very important. And here also Baba, actually in this chapter, anything and everything can come. You can't leave anything and go because they go ahead and give you 5 to 10 points and tell you, please find out the place of supply. So you can't leave anything in this chapter, right everyone? I'll close my revision on the chapter of Place of supply, section number 10, 11, 12 and 13. Remember, it is 10, 11, 12, 13 of the IGST Act. Close is the revision for the chapter of place of supply.